Well, that was almost instantaneous. It's calling me back in you know two seconds after I hit send. So let's answer. Press pound to continue. Put it on speaker. Your agent ID is one zero five two three six six. It gave me an agent ID. So let me go enter the agent ID. Okay, I'm logging in. Now I'm getting some music. Let's take that off speaker. Uh -huh. Take taking that off speaker. I'm just listening to music. The computer says now dialing. And I see a script right here. So I'm just listening to music and waiting for the call. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be a volunteer. I'm going to call as me. You know, I don't want to, you know, so your, 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 your calls will be a little different. Now, it's still, I'm listening to music. I wonder how long I've got to wait here. Hmm. Well, this is, the, this is the first bit of a snafu in that I'm waiting so long. And the screen I'm looking at is kind of grayed out. Oh. Okay, I did a smart drop. I clicked the smart drop. I got a voicemail. So I wonder if I'm leaving a message. On the right side of the screen, it's I can end the call, go to the next call, report an issue, log out. Oh no, I'm just hearing music. It doesn't say dialing. I don't know, let me click on next call. I don't know. Now it's okay, now it says now dialing again. I guess. This is the first time I'm trying this, and I'm just going right from what I see on the screen. See if I get somebody on the phone. Oh, another voicemail. So I hit Smart Drop. And I guess I go to Next Call. So I've... I've now left, left two voicemails. So, I mean, I'm doing something, right? I mean, I didn't get to speak to anybody, but I'm leaving the voicemail on two, on two machines. So now two people are going to know about Peter Schiff. They're going to hear my name on their, on their voicemail. So this is the third call that I'm making now. And just listen. I mean, it's not, this isn't hard to do. You know, just listen to some music. It's just taking some time out of my day. Another message. So, smart drop. All right, well, I've left three messages. I haven't gotten through to anybody. Oh, up in the top, it tells you who I'm dialing. I didn't even notice this. It says I processed six calls. Deeb Nancy. I'm calling Deeb and Nancy, I guess, in Danbury. I didn't even, didn't even realize. So I was wondering how you knew who it was. But up in the upper right-hand corner, it tells you who you're calling. So that's good. And I'm looking at this questionnaire, which is, you know, here as who you support. You know, yesterday, asking who do you support, Peter Schiff, Linda McMahon are undecided. I actually got 54% said they supported me. Of course, that's probably after uh, people talk to them. But that's great if we're getting half these callers supporting me. Oh, it's actually moved on to another person. I guess the other one didn't even answer. So now I'm calling... 
Okay, I reached Lee Cable's phone number, mobile call, left a message. Now I'm moving on again. So this is my eighth call now. I'm going uh, to uh, Lewis. Oh, hey, it's last name first. Now I get it. So I'm calling this guy Lewis in Meriden, Connecticut. Now, I guess some of the people, there's, they don't answer at all, so it goes on. So this is my eighth call, and I think I've left four or five messages out of eight calls. Hello, is this Lewis? Oh, excuse me, is this, is this Mrs. Bilther? Bither, excuse me for the pronunciation. Hey, my name is Peter Schiff, and I'm actually running for the United States Senate. I'm trying to get the Republican nomination. Uh, are you are you following the U.S. Senate race in Connecticut? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm you know I got tired of it myself. That's why I'm running. And you know I'm not I'm not a politician. I'm a business person. It's my first foray into the political uh, spectrum. But I'm I'm trying to win this Senate seat. Uh, have you heard of me before? Uh, well, I mean, do you have any questions for me? I'm on the phone. Well, are you are you on a computer? Do you have a computer? So you don't you don't have internet access. All right. Well, if you could, you know, my campaign website is shiftforsenate.com. And if you go to my website, yeah, I'm look, I'm a business person. I own a brokerage firm here in Connecticut. It's based in Westport, Connecticut. Hmm? Yeah, I've been, you know, I employ over a hundred people. I, you know, I've been in business pretty much my whole life, and um, you know, excuse me. I just got your telephone number because I have a record of uh, Republican phone numbers. Um, you know, in Connecticut, I'm just randomly calling uh, Republican voters uh, to talk about my campaign and to see if I can find people who might support me. Yeah, well, that's well, that's my website. It's not shiftforsenate.com. But I'm running. I'm really trying to shrink the government, cut government spending, uh, repeal a lot of the rules and regulations that have distorted uh, our economy, that caused the financial crisis. You know, I kind of rose to some uh, degree of prominence uh, nationwide for being one of the only people to have publicly forecast the financial crisis of 2008. Yeah, I wrote several books on the subject. I, I was a regular on CNN, on CNBC, on Fox. Uh, I was on television for years warning about the coming financial crisis, warning about the problems in the housing market, about the insolvency of, of Fannie and Freddie, about the banking crisis. In fact, even before the bubble burst and we had this recession, I was predicting that the government was going to try to stimulate the economy with deficit spending and cheap money, and that the government cure would actually be worse than the disease and would create another Great Depression. And I think we're on the verge of that now, and I'm trying to go to Washington to prevent that disaster from happening. Yeah, have you heard of my opponent, Linda McMahon? Yeah, were you planning on voting for her? All right, did, well, but the, she is the, uh, this is the Republican primary. So right now, we have to decide which Republican is going to run against Dick Blumenthal. And the front runner right now is Linda McMahon, and I'm hoping to beat her in the primary. Okay, well, appreciate it very much. Well, that's it. <laughs> She's hung up. I'm going to go on to the next call, and I, I put her down in the undecided camp. Um, and anyway, let me go on. I couldn't really get her to commit. She seemed like a relatively elderly woman, but it wasn't that pain painful. I mean, I talked to her for a while. Now I'm calling uh, Olga Walcott. No, it's no. She's in Walcott, Connecticut. Olga O'Lear. So her name is Olga. Let's see. How long is this YouTube video? I'm already at nine minutes and twenty six seconds. Twenty eight seconds. You know, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. You know, these things end in ten minutes. So I'm probably not going to be able to do any more calls. But hey, it's it's real simple. It's an easy thing to do. Anybody can do this. Um, and you know, hey. If I can do it, you can do it. And again, I'm not asking anybody to do anything that I'm not doing myself. Anyway, this is Peter Schiff signing off.